In this video, I'm going to show you how to work with radical expressions. A radical expression is an expression under the root symbol. It's a radical symbol. So this is a radical symbol. The value under the root is called radicand. For example, if we have 64 here, this is a radicand. And the number here is index. It determines the value of the root. So in this case, it's a cube root of 64. Altogether, this is called a radical. All of this is a radical. We can do operations on radicals. We can simplify them and we can have radical expressions that contain variables that we will simplify. Radicals can also be um, converted into exponential form, into rational exponents, but I'll show you that in a different video. Square root is the most common root to work with when you want to simplify radicals. For example, we have square root of 28 and we want to simplify it, meaning we want to um, isolate the integer part, the whole part, and keep the uh, least possible number under the square root. For that, we need to break 28 down into a perfect square of some sort times uh, another multiple. So let's look at that. 28 could be expressed as the product of 7 and 4. Then we can split them, square root of 7 times square root of 4. Square root of 4 is a root of a perfect square of 4, which results in 2. And square root of 7 just remains the same. It will not give us um, a perfect integer if square rooted. So then we can put them together into one simplified radical expression. So this is called a mixed radical because you have a non-radical portion and a radical portion. A square root can produce a positive value or a negative value. And as a result, you could have plus or minus in front of it or just plus or just minus. Let's try to simplify this radical square root of 54 which we can split into plus or minus nine times six. As we can see, nine is a perfect square of three. So um, this will be nine times six, which gives us plus or minus three root six. This is a mixed radical in the simplest form. Expressions with the same radicals, with the same radicand under the radical symbol and the same index of the radical symbol can be combined together. They can be added or subtracted. So in this case, we see that there are two of those that can be added together, seven square root of two and three square root of two. And there is one that has a different radical beside it, which is not going to be added or subtracted to the other two. So 3 square root of 2 plus 7 square root of 2 is 10 square root of 2 and subtract 5 square root of 5. This is the simplest form of the following expression. When you want to multiply radicals, you will multiply their coefficients and their radical components. So in this case, we'll get three times four, which is 12, and the numbers under the radical symbol, which is three times five, radicands. Three times five is 15. 